morning everybody uh, since it's a case based discussion i don't want to involve too many people i want one volunteer otherwise i will ask asim to come to the mic yes please thank you uh, accept or not accept this is a case of intertrochanteric fracture whether to accept or not yes asim the mic mic de dete unke hath mein too many people will spoil the broth is not acceptable at all yes what you are going to do and what is the problem you, uh, Look, you can uh, think the, here the problem first uh, he could not reduce the rotational element of this fracture yes his entry point is wrong is too far lateral yes his nail has sort of split the widened the fracture it has gone wedge through effect that. yeah correct channel yes for the nail there yeah his screw height length he was not meticulous the 8 mm screw should have been about 5 mm subcondyle it's short second yeah. screw may be right size but the key screw is very short almost 5 8 mm short and on the lateral view lateral is not very clear but there is a negative reduction there okay yes navin yes reduction is okay but stability is the problem yeah. both the screws are not having any purchase in the head and neck yes so there is a invisible instability on toggling as per our finding both will come out rather than a, have a lateral or medial migration both have a lateral migration nothing like a z, z effect it is a lateral migration of the both the elements yes you are bang on yes there is lateralization of the shaft there is a wedge effect uh, because of the nail has been inserted so as predicted it happened in the same way now what to do since uh, navin predicted it right what you are going to do now again as sunil has said in such unstable situation there is there, there will be some lateral wall instability so i i would like to revise with the again nail with the plate okay. to get the stability again the problem is the invisible instability Okay. and have a good purchase in the head and neck part yes uh, neck elements yes asim you have any answer okay next next so case i'll give them here is the case for blade plate okay fine so i reviewed the since it was operated in my own center i went back to the cm i saw the pictures so this was the entry being done you can see that the entry was done properly but while passing the guide wire it was passed to the fracture site that was the culprit here though the entry was done correctly and subsequent reaming and lateralization has happened because uh, no proper reaming without fixing the uh, fracture was done so this was the pre operative x ray with varus at 118 degree on the side and this what happened immediately what i did i'll before that what you will do yes chetan you want to say anything one and a half months operated in your center or your by you only so i would uh, revise it i'll correct the varus okay and uh, i'll fix it with a proximal femur plate okay without bone grafting or anything in okay. one and a half months it should heal if the varus is corrected and okay. you get a good hold in the head anybody for nail plate was correction correction can happen but yes yes uh, if you see uh, the back x-ray there was a positive reduction still it has failed because of the instability is yeah. it the beak is outside yes still it has failed it is not in that much varus but okay. still it is failed just because of the instability so you have to give stability that's all okay so what i did i'll go so i took the patient for surgery uh, retrieved partly the, the both the screws up to the fracture site then got the beak out properly there was too much of valgus so i had to push the beak properly again with a stein one pin medial to that and pass the screw with the inferior part and it was subcondyle the same screw has been used because uh, because of the varus and lateralization it had happened and uh, yes i would have changed the entry point If yes. the, we would have changed the entry point. Yeah, that's Again, correct. it is lateralized. You can put a polar screw there and put on the medial side lead. And then, if you, you, you as you are doing the pyriform esposa, you are taking entry from the pyriform esposa. You could have taken the pyriform esposa and changed the uh, the 
the nailed uh, entry point so that I would have been go to a more on the lateral side. That that the, that the mistake I have done. I do agree with that. Yes, I should have done that, but unfortunately, I had taken that I'll be only doing minimal surgery to the patient because patients usually. Yeah. Yes, Sushrut. Uh, so, uh, in this situation, when I want to revise it, I think that tough portion of the calcar needs to be nibbled out. Correct. And then uh, anteroposterior polar screw so that you can medialize the entry point of the nail. Yes. No, no, right? Yeah. I end. No, once I had removed the nail, I could have taken a much more medial entry. There is space for that, and I could have done that. But uh, somehow, I don't know why I did it. But uh, uh, yes, now. While I went through the slides again, while, while I was searching, I got all the details. I think I should have done this. This is immediate post-operative x-ray. Except that the entry has been... And that tip of the trochanter is also separated one. And that requires a fixation of the greater trochanter, yeah. Questions? So, I have got a 135 degree angle, almost looking, except that there is a... I, the nail has acted as a spacer uh, yeah this is two months this is eight months any comment no, it's already eight months anyway I don't have the further pictures to prove but uh, yeah because it has not come Okay, it's supposed to be 10 minutes because it was kept 7 minutes because yeah. it's a case discussion. Yes, uh, we'll I'll take one more case. We'll, we'll add the 3 minutes in, yeah. in your talk. Yes. Uh, this is another case. I'll ask uh, Sushrut now. Sushrut, uh, this was operated again while I was in Jaipur attending IOACON last year in my own center. My OT assistant wrote me saying that please order. 6.4 into 90 millimeter and 8 millimeter 105 mm screw. Does this give you any idea or do you think this case was operated? This is the x-ray you can see. So what I would do is, I don't know about why it was ordered to you last minute, but I should... No, no, ready. after the surgery. I replace it after the surgery. Huh. Means this has been used in this patient. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Why 105? I don't know. Why 105 is too big, yeah. too long. I am yet to use a 105. Yes, yeah. that's what. Immediately I wrote to the surgeon who operated. Today's operated case. My guess is foot and traction is not released before fully tightening the screw. Once I see the post-operative x-ray, let's discuss. So immediately I wrote and he sent the pictures on 8th March. You can see that the screw is already partly out. Do accept this. No, too long, too long. So, uh, Khalsa screw, the distal screw, has to be flush with the bone. Yes. So as to create compression at the fracture site. Uh, if it is not abutting against the bone, it will not compress the fracture site. And the proximal screw has to be only anti-rotation. So, proximal screw, if, even if it is a little out, I don't mind. But the distal screw has to be abutting against the bone, I think. Yeah. That's correct. See, nowadays the thing... Yes, President? Don't you think it is a complication of uh, fixing it in valgus, where you have not allowed any collapse? As a result, the screw has nearly penetrated the joint side. I do not think, because uh, valgus is, is always it good. Is, it so, is nearly. It yeah. is the other side. But 105 millimeter is too long. Uh, anyway. We have not allowed a collapsible device to collapse. One, yeah. Okay. One minute more for the discussion, okay. please. Anyway, this patient also the picture, you can see that there is a negative cortical support yes. in the lateral picture. Lateral. But nowadays, intertrochanteric fracture sliding to continue to happen is gone. Either you should fix in static mode, means you achieve the compression, whatever the fracture requires on table, that gives the excellent result. As expected, this fracture failed. Though I offered him surgery, he didn't come. Subsequently, the uh, in, uh, superior screw broke and though the inferior screw was out, subsequently it went inside the joint and I was told that he was replaced, joint replacement was done in this case. Thank you very much. Message is, uh, one is you should anticipate if 
uh, by mm, seeing the screw size itself, you should anticipate that something wrong, you are not doing right on the table. So, you are using something longer. So, fracture was not compressed. And another thing is, you should compress the fracture on table to your satisfaction, so that undue collapse, what we expect to happen with the DHS sort of thing, in nail we should not happen. The screw head should have a support, so that it will not fail. These are some of the things. Thank you. Th yes. Thank you, Dr. Shivshankar. I invite Dr. Dawal Desai.